Well, if you are fans of our monthly likes and dislikes video, you will uh, probably really like this one because this is the wrap up video for the entire year. So, and some of the stuff we've forgotten about. <laughs> yeah, really. So, what we do is we do the likes and dislikes video at the end of every month. When Kevin and I finish that video, uh, we will literally pick out, Kevin will pick out his favorite thing for the month and my favorite thing for the month. And then usually from the hate pile, we'll just pick out one thing together right. that we hated the most. So we have 12. And some months don't have hates. Right. We have 12 piles. And uh, yeah, some months don't have a hate, but we figured, um, I know in the past we've done it a little bit different. We're going to go through all of our hates first right now and then we're gonna lay them out here and talk about them and then we'll tell you right then which one would be our hate the one we hated the, the most for the year yeah, the worst one. and kevin's might be different than mine yeah so let's start with january right, january we didn't have one didn't have any hates okay. um february we did not have one. Oh, okay good good march we had one that was really bad <laughs> <laughs> and this is a shame because this is a Kentucky product. Yeah, and it was, and we've seen them many times since then. This yeah. is the uh, um, Mom Mom Blakeman's Ma Blakeman's. Yeah, yes. I, it's on the side. Oh, okay, it's covered up. Mom Blakeman's uh, candy. This is the potato candy. Horrible. Just uh -huh. awful. Just what, did we, what note did we write? We wrote, we hated, too artificial, no sweetness, no peanut butter flavor, tastes like potato. potato. Uh, so Which <laughs> makes sense. If it's, it's potato, potato candy. candy. But, but do you really want to eat a piece of candy that tastes like potato? It, um, this, <laughs> every single thing, I'll tell you, every single thing from this Mom Blakeman's candy was, not good. was horrible. And we, these were very, very expensive. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Um, we bought them at like, uh, Total Wine, yeah. someplace like that. Um, but it's we have seen these. Them. We've seen these sold at in Critchfield, I know Critchfield, Critchfield Meats. Yeah. Critchfield Meats is a family owned grocery store. And they tend to sell a lot of uh, local, stuff. local stuff. They need to quit selling this because you don't want people buying that from your store uh, because they're not going to want to buy anything else if they buy that there. Uh, this stuff was just horrible. Okay, so that was March. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, April, we had these. What am I hearing over there? I think a, a package is oh, okay. loosened okay. up and recycling. Okay. So these were the Chobani, and they were not cheap either. Uh, Chobani peanut butter and chocolate peanut butter. Yeah, these were expensive. They're like spreads, aren't they? Yeah, and they were not good. They uh, they, they have protein, minerals, vitamins. Um, it's, we didn't write a note on them, but they, I remember them being bad. Yeah, they were bad. They were expensive, and they were bad, and they were a big letdown. You know, if you buy the Chobani yogurt, um, they need decent. to stick to making Chobani yogurt and not make this, because <laughs> yeah. I don't know who's buying this. This this was terrible. So that was for April. Uh, May, um, get that. Okay. This is the Fronin Dairy-Free Frozen Dessert Chocolate. Uh, bitter and disgusting. Everything from this brand was horrible. <laughs> so I, <laughs> that's what I wrote on it. I put little notes on the back. So um, yeah, N won't be buying the Fronin. I think we found these at like Kroger. The Kroger in the next town over has a, a, a much bigger selection. I think that's where we found these and probably those Chobani too. Yeah, won't be buying any Fronin. Uh, this is the Favorite Day, which is a Target brand, mini donut, uh, cinnamon reduced fat ice cream with donut pieces. And the Favorite Day ice cream is hit or miss. So it's okay and so it's not very good at all. So this was in June and I wrote very strong cinnamon and very artificial flavor. So it seems like we were really looking forward to that because it said mini donut. Mm -hmm. There wasn't do anything donut. No, wasn't anything good about that one. July. This, uh, it says, uh, it's, oh, I remember these. And we looked forever for these things. Great value power That's lights. the one where we had manager of the store walking around and everything. Two. We had two men 
like Run scratching right their heads. And that was in our store. Yeah. And then in Lexington, there was another guy trying yeah. to help us out. Yeah, he didn't have a clue either. Uh, yeah, these uh, are the uh, Power Bites Walnut Brownie. I wrote, smells horrible, like wet tennis shoes in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you keep going. Wet tennis shoes in a bag for a week. <laughs> and then I wrote, tastes like feet too. <laughs> <laughs> well, most of those power protein bar, uh, bites are mostly like dates like flavor, and those were not. <laughs> These, we ended up, and now that once you've seen them, you can't not see them. Now, every time we go in Walmart, there they yeah. are. <laughs> They're still there. <laughs> They're in the produce section on like a, where the nuts and stuff are, like you would, nuts you would buy in a bag. Um, they're on like a bottom shelf. There's a reason they're on the bottom shelf. That's where they sell those they're like the, the beans, the, the dried green beans, mm -hmm. snacks and stuff like that too. So Terrible. Yeah. Okay. This is August. <laughs> this is the um, 3, 2, 1 Glow Collagen Plus Brownie. I was gonna say, I think we bought, we did. We bought this at Big Lots in the checkout. Don't buy any of them. The birthday cake blondie. I wrote, <laughs> tasted rancid. So bad I had to spit it out. I, during the video, I literally spit it out. Um, it was bad. I mean, it was like burn your mouth bad. And it was 250 at Big yeah, Lots. It was awful. Terrible, terrible. No, okay. I that one. Okay, this was for uh, September. Yeah, September. Uh, this is another one of those brownies. This was like AP, yeah, AP uh, regimen. These are protein brownies. Uh, this is a birthday cake blondie. I wrote absolutely disgusting vile. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm done, okay? We've been doing these videos long enough. I'm done with the protein brownies. Just don't even ask us to review them. It's a waste of money. They go, they go in the garbage. I don't care where you buy them, whether it's the Big Lots, the Vitamin Shop, GNC or GFC or whatever it's called. <laughs> um, bless you. I don't want to review any more of these. Oh. They suck. Yeah, okay. No, we haven't had a good one yet. Don't like them. Uh, um, we didn't have one for October. Okay. November. This might be a surprise. Yeah, that was a surprise you, to us, too. Yeah, if you didn't watch the video. Uh, these are the uh, gingerbread cookie dough bites. Uh, so the cookie dough bites are usually really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not the gingerbread. <laughs> uh, very artificial, bad aftertaste. And I said I believe it was the chocolate. Because it seems like in the same video, we did some... Uh, just gingerbread and they didn't have the chocolate coating and they were really good and they weren't that brand they were something um, i don't know if they they could I, have been the i think same they were brand. no i think they were a different brand we looked on the back of who made them and they were made by the same people oh okay that, that's what the deal was uh well these th they were terrible they were awful and then lastly for december this was a private selection cranberry bourbon pecan holiday mix uh, tastes smoky like a rib rub, not good on pecans. So it doesn't taste like something that would be in a sweet mix. It tastes like something that should be on something savory like ribs. And it had a, a bitter, horrible aftertaste. So these months that where there was uh, uh, a hate, that doesn't mean it's the only hate. So like I know in December, there were two hates. Not we just, just picked this the one, one we didn't like. We picked the worst of the two. Yeah. So out of these other ones, if there were other things during that month, we just picked the worst one. So. I, I know which one mine is. You do? I think so. I know mine too. I, let me just say this. As for a local thing, don't buy this. That's not that's not my very worst, but it's pretty bad. My worst are both of these brownies. I was gonna specific, yeah, both of these. If I had to pick one of these, um, I'll, I'll go. Both of them are equally bad. I, I would uh, probably well, pick the, the three, two, one glow because I had to spit it <laughs> yeah. out. But both of them are nasty. Yeah, I'm just I'm just done with them. I'm yeah. done with protein brownies. I'm tired of spending money on them. Don't like them. They're not good. If you want a brownie, buy a box of Ghirardelli. You, if you want protein, get a good protein drink. Or get, go buy you a steak. Or Please don't ball. do this. I mean, this is Eat just peanuts. <laughs> it's nasty, nasty. So the yearly, 
these yeah. these are the the, the protein the, rice are the worst. The worst of the worst. Although those power bites weren't the, uh, yeah. Well, nothing here I would buy again. These are all deserving to be in the hate pile. Now that we're going over them and I'm thinking about them and remembering them, yeah. they all deserve to be in the hate yeah, pile. They do. Okay, so do you want to? Let's move. pause for a second. Let's shift this out of the way and then we'll be right back. Okay. So now the happy food. The happy food. Happy, so for happy. each month, once again, Kevin picked out a favorite item and I picked out a favorite item. So do you want to give yours first? We can, I'll just hand you yours oh, too. Oh, okay. You can get both of them. Here we go. My favorite item from January were the Lotus Biscoff Very good. cookie and cookie butter ice cream bars. And mine were the Betty Crocker Cinnamon Toast Crunch a cake mix. And it's honestly the cake mix, but the frosting was the best. <laughs> the frosting, yeah. I didn't have the frosting uh, in here, but yeah, the frosting. The frosting and the cake. They you go together. have to buy the frosting. <laughs> yes, you have to buy they, the frosting with it. You, that was probably one of the best cinnamon. Actually, honestly, that's probably one of the best Cinnamon Toast Crunch item that they have out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really, really good. So, so these, um, if you're looking for a, a frozen dessert, something really good, ice cream, these are wonderful. If you like Lotus Biscoff, then yeah, this it, it's a no-brainer to buy these. I like those because they had that little coating on the outside. It was like the ice cream, and then they had like a coating of almost like a peanut butter-like stuff. Mm -hmm. And then they had a coating of like the white chocolate stuff. Mm -hmm. It was they, they were really, really yeah. good. Okay, so now February. Uh, let's see, this one's yours. Sarah sent us this from California. Now they do sell, this is the Miana chocolate. This is the kitchen sink bar. It has peanut butter pretzel, crispy rice, fleur de sel caramel, and dark chocolate. So we have only seen this brand at Whole Foods. I don't think the Fresh Market sells this brand. I don't remember seeing that. I don't think they do. I think I've only seen these this brand at home. You can always look if you have one of your But if you're looking for uh, a bougie candy bar to buy for somebody or to put in a to put in a gift basket or something, if you want to buy them something that they're not going to find in the checkout at Walmart, this is your bar. It, it, the, any of these bars. It looks uh, like a Lyanna perfume bar. It does. A box. a box of perfume is what it looks like. But it is absolutely a delicious chocolate. I was trying to... Oh, Spooner Wisconsin is hmm. where they come from. It is top-notch chocolate. This you'll appreciate because this is coming up. This is the York Dark Chocolate Covered Peppermint Bunny. Oh, you mean it's coming up for Easter? Yeah, so you'll be able to buy it soon if, you, if you're interested. Uh, uh, the, first of all, I love York Peppermint Patties anyway, but this was like even better than a regular York yes. Peppermint because you got a really thick inside the filling and the outside chocolate seemed to be a little thicker. I don't know if it was or not, but it seemed to be. It was really good. You liked it too. Oh, I love it. I yeah. think it's awesome. Anytime you get these regular candy bars and they put them in these shapes, mm -hmm. they're better. They're you get usually more. better because there's something else is thicker. Yes. Either the inside is thicker or the chocolate's thicker. One yes. of the two. Yeah. yeah. You but, get more stuff. Yeah. Uh, Both of them really good. Yes. So now we're on March. March. All right. And let's see. This was yours. Okay. <laughs> the Duncan Hines Epic cookie dough frosting yeah you can just eat that with a spoon yes absolutely <laughs> delicious um it really does taste like cookie dough and kevin's right you don't need anything i've i usually wouldn't say that although that cinnamon toast crunch frosting is it's really good, good. Too. so like normally i would have never thought um oh i could just buy that and not buy the cake or not buy the brownie or whatever yeah, these you could just buy this and not buy anything else to go with it and just eat it out with a spoon. Mm -hmm. Like Goldie Hawn did in Death Becomes Her, hey, where she's eating the frosting. I would be, yes, I would be that person. <laughs> yes, yes, please. <laughs> uh, mine are the Kroger uh, Franks in a Blanket uh, Pork Smoked Sausage. I like those too. They're yeah. a good appetizer -y kind of thing. Where you mm -hmm. just, if you're wanting to do a quick meal at night, throw these on a pan and bake them and, mm -hmm. and go. You know, right. How many do you get in there? I'm wondering if that, that, oh, you get 30. You get 30 pieces. Yeah. So honestly, yes. And four pieces is 280 calories. <laughs> well, I could definitely eat half. Oh we, yeah, we me, could me and Hannah would split this yeah. in half. Yeah, yeah. So, they, were, they were really, really good. Good flavor, good texture, everything about them was good. Okay, so April. April, uh, here's yours. Okay, mine, I remember buying this. They still have this. This is the scorched peanut bar. Oh yeah, that's Was this around. made in Australia or New Zealand or somewhere? Oh, I remember buying this in World Market. Um, Australia. 
um, yeah, this is made in Australia, and I they still have these in World Market. It's delicious. If you're a peanut butter fan and you like kind of like a Butterfinger type bar, uh, this is a delicious candy bar. Wonderful. Um, mine is the Biscoff. These are the um, milk chocolate um, cookie bar. So it's basically a Biscoff it's cookie, cookie bar with cookie butter and then covered in chocolate. And they mm. were, we've seen these at, um, they say these at Walmart. Walmart in yeah. the candy aisle. And they're, they're one of the best uh, cookies. If you like that kind of cookie butter flavor, these are like one of the best ones we've, we've ever had. Oh, it's, well, absolutely it's very, very good. If you're going in Walmart and you're thinking, I'm not seeing those. Why am I not seeing those? Well, they don't have them at the checkout. You have to go down the candy aisle where they have the larger candy bars, yeah, like in a bigger the Cadbury box. Yeah. and... They have great value, big bars and stuff like that. That's where you're going to find those. Hey, so this is May. May, okay. Oh, I remember those. Uh, yes. Sarah sent these uh, to us from California. However, we had also tried some of these. Uh, they're Susie Soft and Creamy. These are the cookie butter. So and they're we were, filled. So we were just talking about the Lotus. Mm -hmm. Well, these are like that, except they're in a, the texture of these cookies is phenomenal. I have only seen this brand sold at Kroger, and I don't even know if our Kroger has them. I know the bigger Kroger in Lexington has them. Absolutely wonderful, but then Sarah, we had tried like two flavors from our Kroger, and then Sarah sent us these from California. I don't know that we have the, specifically the cookie butter in our area. They're more expensive, but they're worth it. I mean, you, you get some good cookies. You only get six. Six cookies in here, but they're they're awesome. They're really really good. Uh, these are the uh, Bucky's Overbite, the milk chocolate peanut butter, <clears throat> peanut butter. It's like a big peanut butter cup. Yeah. But it's just filled with actual just peanut butter, like straight out of the jar peanut butter. Yeah. Not like a Reese's peanut butter, which got a thicker texture. This is like a creamy, smooth peanut butter. Yeah, it's like literally like they took Jif peanut butter out of the jar and, smeared and didn't it in put there. anything else in it and just put it in there. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's wonderful, and the chocolate was super, super thick too. It was, it, if you like peanut butter and chocolate, this is the way to go. It's very rare that you get a chocolate uh, uh, that's supposed to be filled with peanut butter where they haven't added like something to it to make it thicker or something. Mm -hmm. And this is just seriously peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so June. Uh, let's see. This was that has to be mine. the worst. Yeah, yeah I knew that. <clears throat> anything ice creams normally gonna be Kevin's favorite. Right. This one is the sea salt caramel. That's Seven Eleven Select. Isn't That's it? a Seven yeah. Eleven. Yeah, Seven Eleven Seven Select. This is the um, Go Yum. That's um, what they're called. Sea salt caramel flavor. That was excellent. Um, just you know, I like ice cream anyway, but this is like. Everything they have pretty much is good. Matter of fact, there's, a, there's, there's another there's one another in one this. Up. Yeah, there's <laughs> another one coming up. Which I up. actually like the, the other one coming up better than this one, but this one's really, really good. And then these were sent to us from Maria in Berlin, Germany. You love those a little. I do. I love them. I love the texture of them. These are the Harbo Berries. You can get these here. They sell them at World Market. That heck, they might sell these at Dollar Tree. Yeah, you know, Dollar yeah. Tree has a lot of horrible, but I don't know if they have these. I know for sure I've seen them at World Market. They have the little candies on the outside, the little candy balls, right? Yeah, yeah. these these are like uh, they're like a crunchier texture, and mm -hmm. there's just a lot to gnaw on in your mouth. You you, it's very pleasurable to eat, and they're a great flavor. Uh, but these aren't gummy. They're not the like the horrible no. gummies. Kind of like all. a jelly bean almost with like these little round candies like on the outside yes oh it's so fun to eat yeah. these they're good I, love I like them all too okay this one has to be yours okay yes this is from <laughs> hope sent us these this is for july and hope sent us these uh this is the <coughs> michelle's granola so they sell a lot of the michelle's granola at um whole foods mm -hmm. did we see this at I Maybe don't know. they have. I don't, I don't know. know. They have. Um, they have a bunch of their brand there at Whole Foods. Uh, but this is the um, oat and nut butter. This is the maple pecan flavor. And if you buy this, just know it's going to be dangerous because you're going to want to go through the kitchen and just get a spoonful and eat, it. and eat it because it's absolutely wonderful. But you, you, you could put it on a sandwich. You could put it on bananas or apple or there's just all kinds of things uh, places that you could put these okay mine is an heb product we don't have heb around here so this was sent to us by i think it's cara could be cara it's c-a-r-a -A in texas if i mispronounce your name i'm very very sorry but um, this was mine this is a honey flavored cheese puffs i mean 
honey flavored and cheese puffs. I mean, how can you go wrong? Um, I love these. These that's, were sweet cheese puffs. I was just going to say, that's funny because you also like that Popcornopolis. Popcornopolis. It's honey. Honey butter. Kevin's a honey fan. It's a honey butter popcorn. Mm -hmm. This is a honey cheese puff, which doesn't sound like honey and cheese would go together, but it's excellent. Uh -huh. Really, really good. I think I ate that whole bag. <laughs> no, you did. Yeah. Okay, so now this is August. Uh, August. It's so funny that this was an August favorite because I just bought more of this. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, Cinnabon Caramel Pecan, and it says new. The box is still saying new, uh, but I'm telling you, as of December, um, I'm still buying these. Now, they have regular Cinnabon. This one is, it needs to say caramel pecan, uh, because I would not choose the regular. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's not the same experience. This literally tastes like caramel pecan. It's like a dessert. You smell it before you taste it, and then you taste it, and it's just a nice, sweet treat that I look forward to. And oh, it smells good in the morning. For a long time, I was buying the uh, Moose, Moose Munch. Munch. What's it called? Harry and David. Yeah. Harry and David Moose Munch from Home Goods. Um, and then I've gone through a little bit of bad luck with those. Mm. Um, well, you end up throwing half of them away because the little seal on the top breaks loose, or you, yeah. put, you close it and it'll pop loose and it won't. I don't know right if or... that was just an issue with a certain batch. But you still spent money on that certain batch, and then to have to throw some away is just. But you know what? I'm like, why would I go and buy those? Even though they're a really good price, I think those are cheaper at Home Goods. But why not just buy something at Walmart that's easy to get a hold of? That's exactly. Plus, you never know if they're going to have the Moose Munch at Home Goods. Yeah, they were out of them for months, uh, months for and time. months. Uh, so I would just soon have this. Yeah. I love this. It's good, and I know I Hopefully can keep it around. It. I know that's the thing. So, uh, and then this, mine was the um, Members Mark, which is a Sam's Club brand. Uh, this one is the pumpkin cheesecake, and anything cheesecake, I'm I'm all on board for anyway. But this was really good, and you get a bunch of pieces. What fourteen or something like that? It was absolutely yeah, fourteen slices. Five out of five cheesecake. Yeah, it was excellent. If you like cheesecake. Go for it because I now, think you really like it. I do have to add right here. I know they came out with a red velvet. They supposedly at some <laughs> Sam's Club, some yeah. Sam's Club got the red velvet. We went in twice, very specifically looking for and yeah, ended up buying a saw. bunch of other stuff. But looking for the red velvet, we never did see it. Mm -hmm. uh, so who knows nick we might go in in january or maybe at the end of the year i you know i don't i don't um know when we'll be in there next but uh well there's only a day left in the end of the year right uh so we might end up going in there and seeing it but it was not in there earlier in the month when it when you would think it should have been for parties and stuff like right. that so if you're wondering why did you never try it that's why because we didn't get it and this one is seasonal limited time offering for August. I'm assuming for fall, August, September. October. And I'd say that red velvet was probably for seasonal season. for Christmas. Yeah, um, we, get, you know, if we don't get it, we don't get it. Okay, so yours. September, this is yours. Yeah. Okay, this probably won't surprise anyone. Uh, Maria sent us these oh, yeah. from Berlin, Germany, and Kevin would put this too. Oh, that was right. Um, it's called Let's Popcorn, and it's this is the caramel biscuit. And, and notice the biscuit shapes are just like the lotus. So this would be like the third item that made it, <laughs> it in is. the yearly. That's like- Well, and this is, no, that's in April because. So we've got a thing for Lotus Biscoff. <laughs> Basically, this was a, a popcorn coated with a Lotus Biscoff. And I even, I loved this so much that I even did my own recipe trying to figure out, okay, how could I make that myself at home? Because I liked it that much. Um, I, mine was, was good. It wasn't, it wasn't the same. Um, if Kevin had been home when I did the recipe, it probably would have been better because he, he said he would have done like different things that I didn't do. But just know if you can get a hold of these, they're awesome. <coughs> Sorry, that swallowed the wrong way. 
This one's the other 7 Select, 7 Eleven. The gum um, yum. Yeah, this one is the banana cream pie, which I was just in the store the other day in there and saw it and said, mm, that was some good stuff. <laughs> um, this is good ice cream. If you like a banana ice cream, it was really good banana. It's probably one of my favorite banana ice creams they make uh, that I can buy. Uh, it's really we're, good. We're really fans of that brand. Yeah, everything the 7-Eleven 7 ice cream, they're all good. Mm -hmm. Yes. But actually, I don't know of anything that they sell that's bad. No. So for um, October, I'm going to show you the big one. <laughs> this was awesome. This is the market side Italian sausage, Italian style. And it was limited edition is the bad thing. Street inspired pizza. Yeah, it does say limited edition. So the last time we looked, so like we bought this in October and reviewed it. But the last time we looked, which it's been a little while, but they did still have them. So I don't know how limited. How limited they're going to be. Yeah. But if you can get it, Italian sausage, absolutely wonderful. It was I good. love the texture of this thing. How many calories did this have? A fifth of the pizza is $4.90. Because the only thing. Calories. The only thing that was kind of awkward about this was it was literally the shape of this box. So you had to try to get it into the oven and then to get it back it's out a of the floppy. oven. Yeah, so you had to set it to make sure that it doesn't go down in yeah, the Yeah, don't oven. put it like this in your oven. You gotta put a caddy corner in your oven. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you had to set it, yeah, to make sure it doesn't go in between the slots because right. it's really thin. But it, it was wonderful. And they got a big cutting board and slide it out on Yeah, it. so that's the only awkward thing is, yes, most people don't have a huge cutting board. No. They have a regular size cutting board. So that might, but if you take it out and you put it, you could put it back on the inside and cut it in there yep. if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. okay. um, mine, mine's expensive, but it was really good. These are the Nightingale um, ice, cream, ice cream sandwiches. Mm -hmm. These, This is the Nikki's Brownies, but honestly, Anything from this brand, if you if you can see one flavor of this brand, just buy it. The Nightingale. Yeah, because yeah. it is so good. They're they're awesome. This is a bigger bar. This is the full size bar. They make smaller ones. I, I can't think remember. they're called like Chomp. Yeah, they're 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 more like squares, mm -hmm. and they're smaller and they're a little bit cheaper. So if you're afraid to try a big, uh, more expensive one, try the cheaper ones. But don't be afraid because they are so. <laughs> we did. We tried a bunch of them. We didn't find one that was bad. Mm -hmm. And when we say. Like when you picture an ice cream sandwich, you're thinking of like the cheap, the Walmart or whatever, just the regular. It's two pieces of chocolate cake basically and a thin piece of ice cream like this. These are like cookies on each side mm -hmm. with a big old hunk of ice cream in the middle. It's it, They're phenomenal. This one in particular uh, was Blondie Cookie with Golden Grams, which you love Golden Grams love anyway. Golden Grams. Vanilla ice cream swirled with honeycomb candy. Um, and this one, the Nikki's Blondie, was uh, in a collaboration with Nikki Hilton to benefit God's Love We Deliver. But what I said, or Kevin said during that review, they don't have to work, have to be put Nikki's name on it if she, if she like had a contract for just you give me this amount of money or what, however they do that to use her name. They call it something else. Do the exact same bar and it's just blondie. just call it, yeah, call it Golden Graham's Blondie or something and sell it like that and, and we would still buy it because it's so good. It's good. And like I said, anything they sell. Have we good. only seen these at the Fresh Market? Fresh Market is the only place we've seen them. Okay. Because okay. I don't think World Market or not Whole, Whole Foods. Whole Foods. I don't think Whole Foods sells them. I don't think I don't they think do so. either. They I think, should. I think only the Fresh Market. <laughs> yeah. They should sell these. Yes. Okay, so this is November. Mmm, I remember these. This is the Total Cluster Fudge uh, Chicks Mix. And this one's peanut butter frosted cereal pretzel, cereal, pretzels, peanuts, and fudge drizzle. It's kind of like a, a popcorn mix, but it's got all the stuff going on and the flavors were really good. The textures were good. Yes. Instead of the popcorn getting that kind of soft texture, these were still good and crunchy. It was just, yeah, it was just awesome. And oh, that was wow. unexpected because I just, anytime you see things in the bakery and like these packages, you Yeah, wonder, this was a big container in the bakery. Like you could use the bottom of it as a bowl. It looked like a glass bowl, the mm -hmm. bottom of this, and it was just plastic. But anytime you see these things, you're wondering how fresh are they really? It was very fresh. Yeah, yeah. But after we saw this, we went in Michael's of all places. Yes, Michael's Arts and Crafts store. 
and they sell the same exact mix in a bag and I gave it to our daughter-in-law in her stocking for Christmas. So we bought the, 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 the bowl for us, but then we bought the bag to give to her for Christmas. It's really good. Um, and I'm sure she will absolutely love that. And th they make a couple different flavors of different things. Yeah, this brand total does. Total cluster fudge. But yeah. um, this was the favorite out of the bunch, but they're all really good, honestly. This was a surprise. This is uh, the Great American Cobbler, um, handcrafted blueberry cobbler, sweet buttery crumble. It was a surprise for me because <coughs> we very probably what every three or four months or something we'll go to save a lot we don't go there very often mm -hmm. because it's in a different part of town we never we're just never on that side of town and so we don't go there very often and we went in there and these cobblers there were two different flavors they were in the the uh freezer section and honestly they were coated in that white like ice ice frost and so i saw them and i thought how good are these really going to be because the, you know when you see something in the freezer and it's coated in all that ice you're thinking how long has that thing been in there is it going to be any good am i going to get it and it's going to be like oh my gosh it's awesome it's i, like I think they're, they're like good. made in georgia or somewhere yeah they're made in homerville georgia um it's a two pound pa package too Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Like I said, I don't even like cobbler, but that was a good excellent cobbler. So we reviewed two flavors. I don't even remember the other flavor we reviewed. Cherry or something like but that. But I've said if we go <clears> back <throat> in Save a Lot and they have like different flavors for different times a year, I will totally buy this brand mm, and try good. all of them that I can get because it was so good. Very good. Okay, and then December, I cheated on December. I'm gonna give you your favorite mine was the doritos dip spicy nachos so they're selling these in the store right now put them with some corn chips they're awesome heat them up in the microwave and it's really good cheese dip it's got a good spice to it so if you don't like spicy don't get it but if you like a little spice they're good and the reason i said i cheated is because i picked out <coughs> two favorites it was very very hard for me to get it down to one one's technically i mean you wouldn't eat it as a snack generally this no you wouldn't eat that as a snack usually oh um i'm going to show you the uh these are the lager uh tartarugas these were mailed to us from david in connecticut the name of the actual company is Perfections chocolate they're located in boston it says actually quincy massachusetts that's what's on their website and he sent us these are basically turtles and he sent really us, good high quality turtles though yes the best turtles i've ever had so he sent us the dark chocolate and the milk chocolate i would recommend getting the milk chocolate uh the dark chocolate were really good but if i bought them like again i would want to get a box of just all milk chocolate mm -hmm. if they sell them that way they might you know and that's fine because the dark chocolate are good too but the milk chocolate are just so uber sweet mm -hmm. but the texture of these the texture the flavor the caramel wasn't really thick and hard and right. it didn't hurt your teeth wasn't it was chewy or anything like that it was a pleasurable experience mm -hmm. to eat these turtles and yeah. that's why i chose that so that's a see the, all everything else here is the standalone food that the, your last thing is really not a standalone you wouldn't just snack on those on the couch. You could. I wouldn't. So this, yes. This these, is something you would put in something. Yes. Yeah, so these are the Guitard uh, milk chocolate uh, chocolate chips. And these are the ones that Crumble Cookie uses in their chocolate chip cookies. So That's what we've been told at least. Yes. And they're, well, I have not, out of all the reviews we've done of uh, and just trying chocolate chips in general, I've never seen chocolate. This they taste exactly the same. They're the same size. I definitely think this is what they use. Um, so yeah, these are bigger. If you're wondering what makes them so good, these are bigger than your standard chocolate chips. And the flavor's really good. And the flavor's really good. It's a really terrific milk chocolate. But I chose these as a December favorite as well because. You, I've been my whole life been buying the same brand, buying every single um, holiday, and every time I go to the store, buying the same brand. And then you're like, you find these, and it's like, 
where have you been all my life, you know? And it just came as such a surprise that there would be a milk chocolate chip, that something that you would find that you would think that's so standard, and this is not. This, to me, has just changed my mind about chocolate chips. I, I love it. It's delicious. Um, so, we've gone over all of our favorites. Those are the things we picked out for the year. Give us just a minute to get our act together, and Kevin's going to pick one out of all these I'm things. Gonna He's going to try his best to pick one, and I'm going to try to pick one as well. We'll be right back. That was not easy. No, I it's just, pretty tough. It Some was, of them I could go, yeah, I like this better than the others, but the other, most of it was like, oh, that's tough. It's tough because... Um, uh, yeah, it's just, it, it made it in the favorites for a reason. Mm -hmm. And so we really, really liked it. And so it's hard to decide. It is. Um, I narrowed mine down to three and I was having a hard time with the three. I think I, I think I picked the What one. was it? Okay, let's do that. What was in your top three? Um, Ooh, I should show you my top three too. Hold on. Okay. okay. I'll show ready? you, I'll show you my top three. And in no particular order. I'll literally okay, grab okay. them randomly. Okay. Um, I've got the 7-Eleven, the banana cream pie. Okay. The Nightingale... Um, blondie, which doesn't really matter. Any nightingale would be fine. And then the Bucky's Overbite, the peanut butter cup. Those, those are my top three that I was fighting with. Okay, my top three was the guitar <laughs> because, well, I mean, that's something that it, it'll change the, the way you do things. The baking. flavor of my baking and, and the, the texture of all the cookies from here on out yeah. if I keep buying them. Yeah, if you keep buying them. They are more expensive though. That's the thing is that's, uh, well, I'll, the reason uh, these did not make my number one, I'll tell you why, because I can't, I don't think they sell them at Walmart, but they might. They yeah. might sell them. I don't Boy, think I'm in for a surprise. If I, if I don't I think they do, but. But if I could get them at Walmart every time I shopped, I probably would have chosen these as number Instead one. Instead of having to go to a world market or whatever. Exactly. Specifically looking for because them. in the grocery halls, I'm sure you'll still see Nestle Toll House just because that's the easiest thing to get a hold of, yeah. you know? But I genuinely do like these. So in my top three is the Guitard. Also is the Cinnabon Caramel Pecan Coffee. And then this might surprise you, this market side pizza. I really, it was good. I could eat one of these every single day. If you could eat. If I could. If I wasn't calories. worried about calories, <laughs> I could eat right. that myself every single day. Okay, so out of those three. My pick was the Nightingale. Okay. It was really close though, because I was I was thinking, you know, this is easier to get for me. The Bucky's is pretty easy to get, but and this is more difficult to get, honestly. But yeah, because you can only we can only find that we said we can only find that first yeah. market, and that was only with Nikki Hilton's name on it. That's why I'm saying they need to rename yeah. it and have but it I, out all the time. When I say it's the Nikki's brown blondie, honestly. Any of them would take the place of this because they're any all nightingale. they're all top notch. Yeah, yeah. any nightingale yeah. you would pick any. I would pick any of them. Yeah. Okay, my top pick <coughs> for the entire year <laughs> is going to be the coffee, and the reason I chose the coffee is like I said, the reason I didn't choose the guitar is because I don't think it's going to be easy to get when I want it. Uh, the reason I didn't choose the market side pizza is because I literally can't eat that every day. Uh, because I can't. Um, my body won't let me uh, hold on to all those calories every day. I wish it would. This Cinnabon coffee, this spe specifically the caramel pecan, I can drink it every day. I can drink a, I drink two cups a day in the morning and in the afternoon, and I love it. And I'm so glad to have found it. It's easy to get a hold of. Um, I, I can find it at Walmart. It's pretty cheap. It's in a good size box. And so that is going to be my pick for the whole year. Yep, so pretty good. So I'm That's glad we stuff. did it like that, though. I'm glad we did our top three. So yeah. if you're not into coffee, you try the things. guitar chips, uh, tr chocolate chips. Try that market side pizza. If you're not a fan of going to Walmart shopping, and I know some people are like, I don't shop at Walmart, whatever. You're missing out because they, yeah, they go to do, the bakery and just get a pizza. They They're have really some good, good things. Uh, they have some good bakery items, cookies, and stuff like that. Actually, that's more in their deli area. But yeah, yeah, this is in the deli area, and they have good flatbread pizzas. I have to add one more thing to this video. Uh, we found this in a box, you know, so like we save up the review boxes, and, and then uh, this was in a box, and this was a hate 
We both hated this in February. This it was is bad. The, it was really bad. This is the 88 Acres, the seed company. This is the roasted watermelon seed butter. Uh, this was another one that should have made the hate pile, and I just wanted to let you know. I would never ever buy this again. That would have been probably one of our top three hates. Yeah, for if, sure. yeah. If we had done a top three, yeah, this would have been like in a top three hate because it was that bad. So uh, that is the favorites. Oh, you will not see in this. Uh, normally, at the end of each month, Kevin talks about his. Uh, he, Kevin has another channel called Lunchtime Review, and he uh, talks about his likes and dislikes from those months uh, kevin will have a video on his channel mm -hmm. he is going to have a yearly wrap up mm -hmm. and will that have likes and dislikes yeah i don't have a ton, tons of hates in that but okay. I'll, I'll, I, there are some so if you are interested in kevin's video <clears throat> he that'll be him all by his lonesome not with me but he will be uh, walking you through the meals that he enjoyed for the whole year uh, the most. So we really appreciate your support and your thumbs up and for watching the video and we'll see you next year.